have not seen Dan now since the uh, since the last episode we filmed actually. Um, I think it was the idea of fame that got to him, which um, it doesn't sit too well with me to be honest with you. Um, I mean I've worked with hundreds and hundreds of athletes over the years and the number one factor to success after ability is commitment and Dan's commitment is right at the bottom of the rocks yeah um, which is a shame really because you know you've all seen his ability commitment ability do the maths <laughs> So what have you got planned today then? I think we're going to go onto the hills here. Um, oh. Is that him? I think that's him. All right, coach. Out well. Oh. All right, Dan. How are you doing? How are we doing? Yeah, not bad. Dan. Good to see you all. How are you doing? You too. Um, we're going to get some work done today then. Is that a cap you've got on under that helmet? Yeah, mate. Yeah. My hair's a bit of a mess because no barbers open. Oh. Oh, big ride that. Where have you come from? Oh, about a mile away. Oh, battery's gone on that bastard. What are you doing there? Two metre distance, mate. Lockdown rules. Boris. Come on, Dan. What? I've got all bloody day. Well, I haven't actually got all day. What are we, got to do? What are we doing today? We're training, that's what we're bloody doing. Come on. What are we doing? Work. What kind of training you been doing? Oh, hi, how you doing? Hello. Oh. Oh. What are you doing? Big dog. Is he scared of dogs? Yeah. I'm alright with dogs. Are you? Yeah, my Uncle Gary breeds them. What kind of dogs does he breed? You are? Yeah, I don't matter. Dogs, mate. Simple as that. Ones with four legs, you dare breed. Alright. Oh. We're gonna start with a bit of a warm up now. Um, Dan's gonna cycle straight up this hill, hook a right, straight back down there and back to us. It's a steady little warm up. Um, just a few, ex a few stretches now before we, before we start. Um, stretching them muscles out, lactic acid. Let us know when you're ready, mate. Yeah, where am I going? So you're just going up this little bit here. Yeah, yeah. Turn right down that bit, the corner, and then back to us. Just up this bit here, look. Yeah. Down that bit there, then back towards just a triangle. Through the trees. No, 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 no. I didn't say through the trees, did I? I said up this bit here on the path. Yeah. Down the path. Yeah. Back towards on the path. I'll tell you what, Dan. Just go up this bit here and come back down. Yeah? Yeah, I'll do that, yeah. Bloody hell fire. On your bike! On his bike? bike. Yeah, you... put your arms on as well. No. Safety. I'll be alright, I'll be alright. Safety first, always. Honestly, I'll be alright. You should probably put your helmet on. No, it's alright. Straight up here. I don't wear a helmet when I'm fighting. Should take me about a minute, a minute I'd say. To the top and back down! Yeah! Isn't he meant to be biking? Well, I thought he was, but he's walking up. Where is he? Right clown. Up there somewhere. Absolute clown, yes. Big fella? Yeah. How do you doing? Alright. Let's go find him. What are you doing? Hay fever, coach. Hay fever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That doesn't look like hay fever to me. Oh, I can't breathe properly, coach. In my bag, I need them tablets. Out my bag. You know, earlier I was speaking about commitment. There's your answer. Yeah, I'm very committed because we've got hay fever and I'm up in the hills. I've got hay fever, pal. Oh, it's smart, it's smart. Is that oh. an inhaler? Obviously not, it's an e-cig, don't act so stupid. What, that, that helps hay fever, does it? Oh, it's dead anyway, so. I don't think hay fever affects your fitness anyway, does it? What are you, a doctor as well as a videographer? Come on. All right. I do like training up here actually. Um, I've got an MVQ in sports science and it's proven that altitude training really helps lung capacity. So I tend to bring a lot of my athletes up here, you know, your swimmers, your golfers, your cricketers. 
I think your boxers. I think that altitude training only really applies when you at a sort of altitude, you well, know, pretty high. We're only we're only at two hundred meters here. The other side, we're higher than them. So we either train down there or train up here. Right. And this is higher than there, so this is altitude training in comparison. I know if you go to Egypt and stuff, there's probably higher mountains and stuff, but right now, this is all we can work with as we are in lockdown. Simple. Egypt. Egypt, yeah. The pyramids. Yeah. Keep working. So today up here, well, I brought this tool, which is a, a broom, which has got a an Everlast glove sellotape to it. What is that? I've got two silver handles. Attack. Simple. What? Wait, why have you got that again? It's a boxing glove for a boxer. A broom for a cleaner. We put them together and we fight. So we're fighting men. Huh. You know? Any more questions? No, that's it. Let's get to work. Hands up. Dodge and weave. Don't get hit. Keep moving. Keep moving. Spinning shot. And weave. Come on. What are you doing? What's he doing? Alright, darling. Shadow boxing on benches improves balance. Nice trainers. My mum got me these. How are you doing? You alright? Not bad, thank you. Working hard or hardly working, as I say. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh. So, why are you using the brush? <laughs> working on his grip. What does he need his grip for? To grip the gloves whilst he's fighting. <laughs> you see here, look. That's the same shape your hand is when you're fighting a man. Right. <laughs> that would do you. My arms are killing. Alright, actually, I feel alright. You alright? I feel alright. Go then, let's work more. I could do a bit more. Press ups, go. Into it, straight away. Don't dilly-dally. Press ups. You're by, not mine. That's a good posture. Thank you. I've been working on something myself recently, actually. What? Impressions. Do you want to see a couple of impressions? Yeah, go on then. I'll do the impression, and you guess the participant. By that I mean the individual I'm impersonating. First one I've got is <coughs> they're all boxes, so you should know. <coughs> Listen here, me Khan. I'm they watching it studio, Babby. At champ now, Babby. Uh, sounds a bit like David Beckham. It's a boxer. David Beckham's not a boxer. But it did sound like David Beckham. It's Cal Brook. Oh, with big knockers. That's Kelly Brook. Next one. <clears throat> Listen here, Dynamite Dan. I'm the king of the gypsies and I'll fight any man. There's not a man born from his mother that could beat me. Phil Mitchell, easy. Is he for real? Who's that then? Phil Mitchell, I don't think it's a boxer. Tyson the king of the gypsies. Well, I'm king of the fucking ring, baby. Oh my god. King of the ring? I'm not even king of your bedroom. We thought we'd just come up here today, obviously, we're in lockdown and stuff. Um, just to keep on top of it really, so when the time does come, me and Dan are both ready to fight. Um, so like I say, we just come down here to do a bit of work. Um, it's good to see Dan as well, good to see yourself. How do you think the session's gone? I think it's gone really, really well actually. Um, what are you doing? Practicing my skid. You're practicing. Um, well, I thought the session had gone well because I've seen that. And then that made me think, you know what, is it really worth it with this kid? But then, once again, I'm reminded of his ability. Then it all is worth it. Skirt, skirt. Unbelievable. I think that's uh, I think that's another good session there today, Will. Um, it's nice to see you again, mate. I think... You ob too. Obviously, we're in... Obviously, we're in um, lockdown. But once this is all done, we'll get in touch with you and we'll, uh, we'll sort something else again. And, obviously meet up and we'll, we'll sort uh, the plans that we've got going forward but um, yeah thanks for that mate no problem um, yeah so we'll thanks Bill see. hope to see you soon mate see you in a bit cheers pal bye Chase come off <laughs>